the underrated capital of Croatia. This is Zagreb. Distinguished by its Austro-Hungarian architecture, this northwestern Croatian city is the perfect place to visit if you want a more local Croatian experience. As most visitors head to the coastal cities such as Dubrovnik and Split, Zagreb often becomes overlooked. But after watching this video, we hope you'll add the city to your Croatia itinerary. At the center of Zagreb, you'll find the majority of the top landmarks and some hearty Croatian cuisine. From thousand-year-old cathedrals to bustling outdoor markets and stunning city parks, join us as we explore Zagreb's city center. Let's begin our journey at Jelicic Square. This is Jelicic Square. It's a very popular spot for locals of Zagreb to meet up at, so we thought we would start up over here, and that is Ban Josip Jelicic. He was the Ban of Croatia in the mid-1800s, and he was known for abolishing serfdom and essentially lifting up the working class. This is actually a really beautiful square, not just because of that statue, but if you look behind, you can see all these beautiful colored houses. You can see the blue and yellow trams running through the streets. This is genuinely just such a beautiful little spot for you to spend some time and take in the sights. We've been to a number of European cities now and one thing they always have in common is the number of pigeons that they have at these different types of town squares. Not just a few pigeons, like literally an entire family of pigeons. So the next spot we're heading to is the Zagreb Cathedral and this place is looking a little bit different than how it should. There's actually so much construction going on here. I think they're restoring it for like the thousandth time. I mean, this church is almost a thousand years old. And it was once even damaged by the Mongols in 1242. That's insane. So I think they're just gonna try to really bring it back to life and restore it to its original style. And it's absolutely stunning from what we can see. And it's kind of cool that you get to see the elevators going up, the spires up and down. That's pretty cool. So the order over here is called Dulwich Market. And this is where a lot of the locals, including restaurants, will come here and shop early in the mornings. And this will be the fresh produce that they use in the restaurants later in the day. One kilo? One kilo. Is it big though? Uh, this is half kilo. Okay, let's do half kilo. Half kilo. Hala, thank you. Get some fruit for later, some plums. Plums are really popular here, so I can't wait to try them. Couldn't wait till we got home, so I just rinsed this bad boy off. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. That's actually way sweeter than I thought. Yeah? Plums, for me at least, are generally pretty sour. This is like really sweet. Oh wait, after the pit. <laughs> mm, can I eat that? <laughs> Honestly, one of our favorite things to do in any European city is just to walk through the streets and take in all of the beautiful architecture. And this street particularly is called Galchicha. It's a pedestrian walkway only and it's packed with restaurants. Pretty much at every step there's one and a lot of good cheap eats. So if you wanted to come out in the evening and enjoy a little bit of nightlife, some live music, some great drinks and good food, this is the place to be.
Now that behind me you have the stone gate and back in medieval times this is the gate they were used into the city but legend has it back in 1731 there was a great fire and the only thing that survived was the painting of the Virgin Mary and child. So now it has become a place of worship where people will come and they will pay their respects. We just entered the Greech tunnels. This is so cool. This was built back in World War II. This was also used during the Homeland Wars when Yugoslavia was breaking up. But the coolest fact of all, this was used to host some of Zagreb's first underground raves. Like this would be such a cool spot to host a rave. Unbelievable. Our last spot for this morning is the funicular and this is one of the world's shortest funiculars at 66 meters. It also costs exactly 66 cents to ride it so it's like one cent a meter but after walking around all morning we definitely worked up an appetite so we're going to be in search of what most claim to be Croatia's national dish and hopefully we'll be able to find a cafe after two because Zagreb apparently has a really strong coffee culture. So we'll do one salty cheese. One salty. And then we'll do the walnuts and honey. The walnuts and honey. This is strukli. It's a traditional Croatian dish made with dough and it's got a bunch of different fillings and it's granulated with cheese and baked. And we had to go with two different flavors. The most popular, which is a salty cheese and a sweet one made of walnuts and honey. I cannot wait to dig in. It took 25 minutes to make because it's freshly made. It's kind of like a cottage cheese texture. It's not like stringy or anything. And I think I love that because it's nice and creamy. Ooh, I steam it. Mm. It's just really good. Super subtle sweetness, but that cheesy one. That's the one I like the most. You see the sign? Coffee lovers only. We had to get our kick of caffeine this afternoon and we came by Kwakwa, which is one of the most popular coffee spots here in the old city of Zagreb. And then when we came in, it was such a warm welcome and we got to check out the machinery that they used to make coffee. And the coffee beans are such high quality. And so is this menu. So nice and sleek. And there are three specialty coffees that they have here. One of them we had to try, it's called the Choco Cookie. And I'm assuming it's gonna be my favorite because it's toasted with hazelnuts on the top. They also offer different kinds of coffees. You've got single shot, double shot, iced or hot, Turkish coffee, which is really popular here in Croatia, not matchas. And my favorite part is the dirty cocktails. We've got an espresso martini, dirty Negroni, all these coffee infused cocktails that are so good we'll have to save it for an evening oh yeah bitterness of the coffee mixed with the sweetness and the nuttiness of the chocolate and hazelnut that's my favorite Good morning guys, it is another beautiful day here in Zagreb. We're kind of going on a little bit of a nature expedition here today, checking out a little bit more of the greenery and parks in Zagreb, specifically in Lower Town. And our first spot is the Kralja Tomislava with the art pavilion in the back, which you can see right now. Right over there. Yeah, what a stunning building and what a stunning garden that we get to have pretty much all to ourselves this morning. This is actually such a peaceful way to start your morning. There's actually significantly fewer people here than we expected. And they have these benches all around this beautiful water fountain. So you get to just enjoy the art pavilion without all the crowds. I think I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, just hear the sound of the fountain and all the greenery around us. Now 
99, 100, 101, 102, 2000. 2000. <laughs> Jason found a really great find. It's called Feetslack. It's well rated, so close to the first square that we checked out yesterday where we started our journey. And what we love about it is that it sells authentic Zagreb food. This is what their mothers and grandmothers made and all of their ingredients are sourced from the Dolats market that we checked out yesterday. There's indoor seating and the ambiance is so nice here. They have a lovely modern bar with lush plants hanging. And there's also outdoor seating if you wanted to have a little bit more fresh air. But we just placed our order. We're really excited for the food to come out. The meat is so soft and it's got like little bits of potatoes in there. And I just love the sourness. It just cuts right into the fattiness of the meat. So delicious. Got some turkey and of course the flatbed pasta that's on top. Usually turkey is quite dry, but this is so moist and it's just so easy to pull apart. But the best part is definitely the pasta right here. It's not super crunchy. There's a lot of butter in here and that just makes it taste so good and fragrant. Jeez. That wraps up our time in Zagreb and we're ending it where we started at the Yellow Cheat Square. It was such a blast seeing the different landmarks as well as grabbing some good food. We'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Yeah.